Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I felt like doing something a little bit more fun, a little bit more relaxed and just laid back. And so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for a luau. So I am going to a luau tonight. I kind of want to go a little bit more fun and out of my comfort zone for my makeup tonight. So that is what we are going to be doing. So if you want to see me get ready, talk about some products, and also some clips from the luau, then just keep watching. So what inspired me to go a little bit more out of my comfort zone was Natasha Denona a couple days ago. She posted a look on her Instagram using her mini tropic palette. Now I don't have the mini tropic palette, but I do have the original big tropic palette. I do believe the formula is different, but whatever, we're still going to make it work. I like this palette, so whatever. I'm not going to do exactly what she did, but I am going to kind of do a version that I feel a little bit more comfortable with. I'm going to zoom you in. So by the way, ignore my nails throughout this whole video they are awful i know i have no <laughs> excuse for it other than i'm lazy so i was supposed to get them done and then i just didn't feel like it so the first product that i'm using is the ola henriksen banana bright face primer i'm sorry i might be a little bit lazy showing you these products today because i just wanted to do you know a chill video that was easy for me to film talked about products all of that so Put them all over. I really like this. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't do anything. The lighting just changed, just, it's okay. I don't wanna freak out about lighting. It's fine. Just go with it. The sun just went down. So for foundation today, I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Now this is currently going through some intensive testing by me. So I've been wearing this every day since I've got it, just so I can really tell you my true thoughts on it and just have the most accurate opinion possible. So we're gonna use that in today's video as well. Next up, we are going to move on to the eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Eyebrow Pencil. Right now, my eyebrows are not in the best condition. I'm trying to get them to grow out, and they're just so fuzzy right now with no shape, and it's really bothering me. So my eyebrows are like super not good right now. It's fine. I'm using the Sigma Clear Eyebrow Gel. We're going to make them bushy today. So just have them standing straight up. Okay, I got self-conscious and I'm putting them back down. Never mind. <sighs> my eyebrows need some TLC. So now I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Mine is in the shade number Canel. Not number Canel. In the shade Canel number 2.75. And I'm using my Anastasia brush. And I am going to kind of see if I can get a little bit of definition down here. Make something happen with them. Okay, so I mean, that looks a little bit better. And I'm also going to just use this concealer down here. I've been loving this concealer for my under eyes. I just picked this up and I'm obsessed with it though. I think it does such a good job of not creasing. It's a very natural finish. It's a little bit more matte than I normally do for a concealer, but I think it's really nice and it doesn't look too dry. So I've been really obsessed with that. We're gonna play with the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Loose Setting Powder. I just purchased this a couple days ago. So I'm still new to this product. I've only used it once. It is very heavily scented. I'm not one to be bothered by scent, but I mean, that's pretty strong scented. I don't mind it, but I don't know why she thought it was a good idea because so many people are so sensitive to fragrance. I can't even really get this powder out because you have to press it and I'm getting nothing on my sponge because this you can really bake with. Let me just... There we go. Oof, there's powder flying everywhere. I 
I just feel like for this supposed to be a baking powder, I'm really not getting any powder out so I can't really bake with it if I tried. But I'm just pressing it into the skin, so whatever. Okay, let's move on. So I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as a base. I'm using the screen on my camera as a mirror and I need to stop because bad things are gonna happen. Okay, so like I said, I was inspired by that Natasha Denona picture to really grab for this bottom row in the Tropic palette. So I'm not gonna completely replicate it, but I am gonna do my own little rendition. So I'm taking the light purple shade right here and I'm gonna use that as my transition. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't look super crazy. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable wearing color out in public for some reason. Ugh, this color would be so pretty as just a wash over the lid, by the way. <sighs> this lighting sucks. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to take a little bit of Laguna, which is this blue. And I'm going to... Okay, pat that all over the lid. I'm kind of just using my finger to kind of soften it because I'm a scaredy cat. So we're going to start there and then I'm digging into Tiger Lily and honestly don't know how this is going to get picked up because this is a difficult shade. Yeah, this shade's not very good, but we're going to try anyways to make it work. I'm like scraping to get this color in here. I'm doing this kind of messy, I feel like, because I'm not in my element right now. Like, I love being in my makeup station and doing my makeup, but this, I'm sitting on the floor and I hate holding a mirror. I hate it. I feel very out of my element right now. Okay, and now we're gonna dig into Mint Frost. And then I'm gonna go back into that original lavender color because it kind of got faded away. So I want to bring that back to life. I feel like I did a really nice job replicating the look for me doing kind of not my best work. We will come back to that. Let's work on the rest of my face. I want to keep it pretty subtle given the circumstance. <laughs> I've been going crazy over this. The Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I've had this for a while but I've been on vacation so much that this is all I've been using. So I'm dipping into Sunny Honey I'm using my rougher brush. And I really like this brush for bronzer because it really applies it subtly because it is so big and fluffy. So it just adds a little bit of color without it being too harsh. It's especially a great brush for really dark bronzers or really pigmented bronzers. Blush. Again, we want to keep it subtle. So I'm using Pink Sand, which is a darker colored blush, uh, but it's quite neutral tone. So I'm just going to try and apply just like the tiniest bit. See, it just adds color without being obnoxious and clashing. So I'm going to use the Benefit Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad Palette and I'm going to dip into Cookie, which is the best highlighter ever. I'm trying to do it subtly, but I don't think that's going to work with this highlight. Oh, nope. Not going to work. I tried. And let's actually, let me put that lower lash line color in. I don't know why I skipped it. So I'm going to take, I don't know. I'm going to take some of the lavender shade and we're going to put that along the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm taking a touch of Laguna. I'm really nervous and I'm going to try and line that as close to my lash line as possible. I know I normally do crazy colored looks on this channel, but I never actually wear them out, okay? So let me set my face really quickly before we line and lash. I'm using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Ugh, I don't want to get my hair wet. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, we're gonna 
see how just mascara looks because I feel like lashes may or may not overdo it. Do any of you know where my mascara went? Ha, I found it. It was in the wrong spot. Hey, I'm using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara because it's like the only mascara I use. It looks really nice, but it doesn't really go with my outfit, so whatever. <sighs> While that's drying, let's just do the lips. We're gonna go nude. So I'm gonna take the ColourPop Lippy Pencil and BFF. And then I'm gonna take Boho Gloss from Morphe. That's a good lip. So I'm gonna take a step away from the camera reevaluate myself and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did go ahead and throw on some lashes. I used Coco Misha. I just felt like it did need that extra drama with it just because the eyeshadow was definitely overpowering my eyelashes. But here's the final look. Let's just take a closer look. I actually really like it. It doesn't really go with my outfit right now, but whatever. A little out of my comfort zone for sure, but I love playing with colors, so I definitely need to get more comfortable with it. So I'm about to head off to the luau. By the way, I got my hair done at Dry Bar, and it's holding up really, really well. I'm surprised because in the humidity, my hair blows up. So I'm about to head off to the luau. I will show you guys some footage right now. Alright, so that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a really chill video with some bad lighting and me jibber jabbering and talking about things that don't really matter. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this look. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope it inspired you to maybe do a more colorful look or pull out your Tropic palette if you do have it. This was a palette that nobody really liked when it came out. Um, I quite like it a lot, honestly. Like yeah, not all of the colors are great and this was quite pricey, so for that reason, it, it's not worth it. Now you can't purchase it anymore, but you can definitely purchase her mini Tropic palette for $25. It has just this bottom row right here, but honestly, I really like the mats in here. So you guys know I love pulling out old palettes and playing with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.